Hey world, I'm Josh. And I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Today we are trying from Bo Trust Coffee in Chicago, Illinois. Their Ethiopia Kefa Natural from, I guess, Girma Eshetu? I don't freaking know. You can read it. There it is. I should like do some research on how these names work. It's natural processed, obviously. Uh, tasting notes. Plum syrup, which we all drink on the regular. Plum oh, syrup. every day. And raspberry. Uh, farm is named after the farmer, Mr. Girma. There you go. Girma is shed to. Well, there you go. Now I know. <laughs> Who has over two decades of experience running his family farm. Uh, they sold it in a 250 gram bag. Uh, grown at 6,400 to 7,000 feet above sea level. And it's an heirloom, heirloom variety. There's a look at the beans. Um, Medium-ish roast. Not as like, not quite as matte colored as I'm used to from natural processed, but that's okay. Lauren has, Lauren went there and got this. Tell mm -hmm. us about place and your what thing in your hand is oh yeah <laughs> a mug as you all know i try to get mugs wherever we go we, we both mugs have... and coffee on our travels yeah because it's the thing that we do and when we're talking about the coffee it's nice to have the mug to go with it to show you guys the branding and stuff like that and uh, i went in and it was you know pretty typical trying to find a parking place in chicago nothing too abysmal but the coffee shop was really nice. It was cute. Um, they weren't very smart though, because <laughs> staff was less than stellar. You said. Yeah, it was stupid. They were stupid. The girls who worked there were not bright, and um, not because they're girls, just because they weren't bright people. Yes, exactly. I Don't just, be a sexist, Lauren. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so I just tried to buy a mug, and they wouldn't let me buy it because it didn't have a price tag, but it was in their system, so. It worked out. A plus thinking. Uh, they How had... much did you pay for half a pound of coffee? Oh god, I don't even remember. Okay. I, to me, it was typical of what we spend on coffee. So in other words, expensive for half a pound. Yeah. As opposed to I 12 so. ounces. Usually it's three quarters of a pound. Yeah, and um, they seem to have some pastries in there, but I didn't have one because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Again. With these mugs, though, I just, I'm realizing that they always put the logo so that it faces out if you're left-handed. Left -handed. Or everybody's right-handed. Like the majority of people are right-handed, and you're trying to. Uh, you gave me a mug not to remind me which coffee I'm drinking, but to advertise. How many left-handed people do you know? A few. I know like maybe four tops. Yeah, a guy I work with. I played baseball, so I knew left-handers. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, They're mug. still in the Co vast coffee language. shops. You have some sense. Print on this side, so everyone on the outside can see. I know what coffee I'm drinking. <laughs> I do like their logo, though. It is a nice logo. It's appropriately hipster. It's yeah. Gold print and geometry. It's just hipster enough to be any more, and it would not be tolerable. It looks like a Harry Potter symbol too. Yeah. I never read Harry Potter, but, or you well, never I, read Harry Potter. I don't read. I read for a living. I don't, I've always read for a living. Like my every job I've had, copy editor, lawyer. That's whatever. why I don't listen to music. Fair enough. So let's talk about the coffee. <laughs> what do you think of the coffee? It's pretty good. It's like the last natural process we had. It isn't like blueberry forward like a lot of natural processed coffees are yeah it kind of tastes it kind of has a black tea kind of taste to it mm -hmm. kind of a spicy finish this was brewed in a chemex but i was lazy and did the bonavita trick put it in the automatic brewer which probably gives a better brew than i give by hand anyway but uh more consistent at least mm -hmm. um Pretty full body, a little thin at initially. Um, definitely more spice than fruit, kind of. Maybe it's because it's still a little warm, but it's pretty solid coffee. Um, 
probably not worth what you paid for it. If he had given you a pound for the whatever you paid for it, I'd say it was worth it. Yeah, just from the amount that you get, I probably wouldn't buy again. And we've had coffees that I like more than this, but it's still pretty good. I can't complain. Got nothing to complain about. No, it's not bad. It's good coffee. It's just for half a pound, and I'm sure you paid like 14, 15 bucks. Probably. If it's less than that, then I'm sorry. I'm wrong. But for half a pound, I'd probably pay like 12. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10, maybe 11, but like 14, 15, 16, 17, no way. Yeah, that, that would be a lot for what we got. Yeah. So, I think that covers it. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, Bow Trust people. You do okay. Yeah, totally fine. Thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. And uh, leave a comment down below. We'll see and you next subscribe. time. Oh, yeah, subscribe too. All those things that. All those things. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably subscribed. You're Bye. probably our family. Bye-bye. <laughs>